Good afternoon. Thank you for joining us for another episode of the Consumer Trial Lawyer Academy. Uh, today, we're going to be talking a little bit about what it takes to do an appellate argument. Um, and that sort of comes from day-to-day -day practice. We recently completed an argument in the Seventh Circuit, and we have an audio recording of that argument. I thought we might also have the video recording. but um, So we're going to have a very quick talk uh, about what we're doing with uh, when we have an oral argument at the Seventh Circuit, what it takes to get ready um, and what it takes to make a good presentation. And then we'll have uh, posted also the actual oral argument from the case of Demona Freeman versus Aquin World Servicing. So uh, what do you have to do to get ready for a Seventh Circuit argument? Um, well, what we're looking for in that instance is a uh, you know, an adequate amount of preparation that will give you um, time to make sure that you know all the cases that are necessary to have a compelling argument. And then you'll also want to make sure you have um, a, a, a strong opening, knowing that in a typical oral argument setting, you're typically only going to get about 30 seconds or so uninterrupted before the questions start flying and you're dodging the bullets or, um, you know, firing back. And so um, you want to make sure as your argument that, you know, you set the tone powerfully um, with, uh, you know, a leading PowerPoint about your case. And if possible, try to frame the debate in a way that's favorable to your position. And um, you'll see a good example of that in this oral argument because uh, what we're dealing with was a ruling in a trial court that said there was no Article III injury, even though the client had uh, been foreclosed on and um, the bank was essentially pursuing a deficiency judgment against uh, the consumer, even though at the time they filed their foreclosure she was actually uh, three months ahead instead of more than a year in default. Uh, of course, if you know anything about Aqua, you would know that the reason for that type of discrepancy is that Aqua simply uh, is terrible at the job of being a mortgage servicer, They're horrible at keeping an accounting that's accurate. Uh, this case arose during time frame before they got away from their old mortgage servicing platform and uh, moved over onto the LPS or Black Knight system that most servicers are on now when they changed their name to PHH. So they were on the old system. Uh, it was terrible, a complete and utter failure. And they believed that Ms. Freeman was more than a year behind when in actuality, she was actually paid several months ahead at the time they foreclosed. So um, under that circumstance, um, we somehow managed to get kicked out of summary judgment for no injury. Uh, I'll give credit to their lawyers that they've done a great job of muddying the waters uh, in writing. Uh, don't think they did so well uh, when they had to answer actual questions. But when it was left to the papers, they've been outstanding at uh, confusing the issues and confusing the court uh, at every level. So. Uh, hopefully we get a good decision from the Seventh Circuit. Uh, we don't have an opinion yet. Uh, probably won't have an opinion until April. And hopefully we'll be able to get Ms. Freeman's case back in the trial court where it belongs so she can have her day in court. So very quickly, just to recap, oral arguments, uh, they're not something you do off the seat of your pants. Uh, dedicate adequate time to make sure you can get ready. Uh, dedicate, dedicate adequate planning to make sure that you have a full understanding of the relevant case law and uh, make sure that you dedicate adequate time for the preparation so that you can walk into court confident uh, that you can answer the questions that might come and you can understand the subject matter well enough to uh, be authoritative on the issues when you stand in front of the court uh, because uh, they're really looking to break down your argument and knock you off kilter if, if possible. And so for you to be successful, you need to be able to handle whatever questions come. And quite frankly, that takes a really strong 
grasp of your factual specific issues in your case and the applicable case law uh, on the topic that you're before the court on, some of which can be nationwide in scope and some of which can be in federal court, at least circuit specific or in, you know, in a state, it might be state specific. Um, so in this case, um, you know, we spent uh, time beginning on Friday before the Monday hearing. So we spent parts of Friday, all day Saturday, all day Sunday, um, substantial amounts of time, uh, approximately um, 12 hours a day on Saturday and Sunday, and about six hours on uh, Friday. So we spent about 30 hours getting ready for an argument that lasted uh, about 25 minutes of my time. So uh, to give you you know, some idea of the commitment to, to be adequate and prepared. Uh, that's a sort of all consuming project for a few days. Uh, and I think that that was, was just right in our case because of my understanding of the subject matter and the cases that were out there and my grasp of the facts of our case. Uh, some, some issues might take much more time than the time we allocated, some might take less. But with that being said, um, you'll have another very short, uh, you'll have another video. It's about uh, almost 40 minutes long, counting all, all that time that was taken up by the court and its questions, um, most of which was directed at our side of the case. Uh, the defendant's lawyer was tied pretty tightly to their 15 minutes. So most of the questions um, that sparked conversation occur on our side of the case, which you, know, you would hope is a positive sign that would help you get to a good outcome. Uh, anyway, always uh, good to share with the audience, uh, good to share with the folks that are watching the videos, and I hope this will help you uh, if you ever find yourself getting the call to head out to a circuit court and, and make a power argument. Good luck on that. Look forward to seeing you in the future. Uh, if you like the videos, please, as usual, uh, ask you to like and subscribe. Thank you.